I didn't get serious about becoming an astronaut until I had been out of the Navy. I had been out of college for about oh, five years, maybe. I was in the Navy, and I met another officer who was applying to the astronaut program. And I got kind of confused because he wasn't a pilot, and I had to go ask him. I said, how is it that you're applying to the astronaut program, and you're not a pilot? And he told me, he goes, no, mission specialists aren't pilots, and... I said, okay. So I started looking into what the requirements were. And so the first thing was, you know, you have to have your college degree. Okay, I had my bachelor's and master's in mechanical engineering. So that box was checked. Number two was work experience. And at the time I was in the Navy doing underwater ship repair and uh, fixing ships underwater, doing salvage work. And so I thought, you know what? If I could build a ship or fix a ship underwater, I can probably build a space station in space. So I thought that was my good experience. And so I went ahead and applied. So probably the hardest thing of astronaut training, other than physically the suit um, that we work in for the EVA, the EMU, um, that was just hard physically because it's a big bulky suit. And even when you're in the water and you're mutually buoyant, um, you're underwater for six hours doing tasks. It's very tiring. And so that was, that was hard, but not really an obstacle. Um, shuttle training was just a lot of memorization as you know, I still remember that as ASCANs, when we first showed up as astronaut candidates, is they gave us a box and it was like a um, photo, you know, the, the boxes that paper came in for copier machines, that box was full of manuals. And <laughs> it's like, okay, this is everything you're gonna need for, for training. And it was just volumes of, of, you know, all the different systems, all the different phases of flight. And so we all took the books out and, uh, put them all on our bookshelves in our offices. And that's what we started having to memorize all those, you know, basically memorize all the books so that when you go in the simulators, you know what, your, what, what the systems are and you can react to failures that happen and you know what happens when you lose one system and you have to deal with, a, with a, another system. And that was probably the hardest part of astronaut training was just the sheer amount of volume to learn. So my advice to, to a younger me would be to just keep, keep learning. And even when you think you've learned everything, there's always more to learn. You can always go back and just look at the problem from a different aspect or go look at it from some other way uh, because you're just going to learn more things um, when you delve into, uh, you know, when you have failures. And you delve into your failures, figure out why something happened, why something went back, and, you know, learn from your mistakes, which I did, um, but just, I tell myself not to make them to begin with. <laughs> but it happens and just push on.